Hi and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire created in Excel using VBA. So I'm going to start just by clicking on this icon right there. And there, my very first question. Just before I select the right answer, you all know the right answer anyway. I'm going to select the wrong ones and see. Supposing I change my mind, change my mind, and I end up selecting the right answer. That's what you get. You've just won 100 pounds. Now we go for the next question. Supposing you don't know the answer, you can call. You can ask the people or the audience. Oh boy, the audience have no clue. Okay then, supposing you want to give 50-50 a try, yeah. and select. Next question, the answer to the next question is A. Unfortunately, you cannot use 50-50 anymore. You cannot ask the audience. Let's say you would like to phone a friend for question four. You phone a friend, and let's say the answer. Oh, that is correct. Next. Well, just to let you know, it works just like uh, any other game that you can play around with it is developed in uh, excel and what i will do next is just take you guys to excel application itself and show you how this program works and uh, let me just finish all the questions then uh, it's question seven answer is a you see how all the images there are moving now question eight i think is a nine um, that's question ten that's that should be b and eleven Okay, 15. What I want to show you what will happen when we get to 15. Select the right answer. There. And if I click on this button right there, it takes you back to the beginning of the program, giving you the opportunity to start all over. Okay? So what I'll do next is just take you straight onto Excel VBA environment. Then uh, we we'll just put one together like this. But, but just before I start, you can see the background. The background right there for this program was developed using Flash. That's it right there. But I've already converted it to, to a movie. So if I, that's the movie right there. If I double click on it, sorry. That's it, there it is. That's the movie. You can just break it apart, do whatever you like with it okay that's everything there that was used in the development of the background all right so i'm just going to let go of that undo and take you back to excel itself all right so what will happen is we will start a new program entirely let's start a new program and you guys see how to put something like this together okay we start a new project file excel and you press the developer menu right there select visual basic if you can see that just press uh, alt f11 this is the old excel who wants to be a millionaire program developer but uh, i intend to start a new project so i'll click on insert user form so you can, as you can see the old one is gone so what we need to do now is to define the size of our form right there 
think my size should be about one zero one thousand and twenty and the width let's make the width about uh, sorry the height let's make the height about uh, maybe 700 okay let's see the next thing is go to where it says picture right there let's upload some pictures on board i think i have it somewhere here let's go for wherever excel is right here there then i need a melania image that's the image that i've just created that's the image right there as you can see that's my image then I will then align my image right here where it says alignment. Where is it? There. Align it top left. That's fine. Yeah, that's not too bad. Then the next thing is let's change the back color of the form. Let's change everything to black. We can have enough space in there to work with. Alright, so let's bring it down. Let's see back color right there. I think I will go for yeah desktop right so that is it so if I run it now that is what you guys will see the next thing is to get the rest of the pictures and just hang it around so let's deal with that right now let's get a picture right there it's called image in Excel click on that so I need three of those I'm going to need more of those anyway more than three so let's draw one right here so that you guys will understand what I want to do anyway let's about that size okay now let's import the pictures into it the pictures I intend to use I need 50 50 okay so the background of this picture should be set that I may have to speed this up so that uh, I don't waste, waste too much time putting these together all right let's change the background to desktop and i'll just copy that because i intend to use one the second one i want the second one to be right on top so let's see go back to the picture and select the other one and let's see which one will be on top okay that's on top now you get the whole you get the whole idea all right so I'm, i will just speed that up and get back to you guys okay i have my three different uh, selections options for the player in place so let's move this up a little bit now that's this let's put them right here right here on the side okay now that's out of the way so i need one command button that i will use as my trigger right there so this command button i need an image for it so let's look for the picture right there get the picture get this very image for it and that's it so we need to now do one or two things to get it uh, to change the look of the image no i don't like that let's say center no not good enough in the first place let's get rid of this get rid of this okay now change the back color let's change the back color to desktop so that's fine so that's my trigger button ready and uh, so let's see how it's looking well it's looking pretty good now so the next thing is to get all of the winnings out here so let me get go for my image right there let's just draw it here then I'm change the back color let's change the back color to desktop right there and let's just size it properly before positioning it so I will get the, the very first one will be the last image get the very last image which is uh, right here one million the picture type is not valid so let's see oh sorry I selected something else icon no, I'm supposed to select picture not a mouse icon so let's scroll right down there so as you can see 
that looks a bit too small just carry out a bit of adjustment on it maybe that's fine here now let's see up there yeah that's fine all i just need to do now is position it so I'll now position this right here there okay so that's in place the next thing is i'll just show you how i'll get the other image so let me get my form right there another picture box or just get rid of that undo copy this very picture box let's copy it paste it there and then change whatever image is on it change that to 14 and just drag it on top of 15 there okay so i will now speed that up and get back to you guys okay i've completed all the picture boxes so what is left for me to do is let me get some labels here i need about four of those five of those i mean and another one here one here as well and one here okay all of these labels we're going to have to define their size so let's make that the height and make that 48 by 192 for the width 192 and let's change the color to let's come to the background here and change the color let's go to we something that will blend right yep that looks a bit okay and uh, the font size now let's change the font size to bold maybe 16 or let's go for 20 all right 20 okay now i need that color let's copy that very color for this very one here just come here paste that color here press enter and just reposition this okay repeat the same thing for this all right so that's fine just move these ones up a little bit let's position them properly okay so if i run my program now this is how the whole program looks maybe i should move this a little bit aside so let's move that and change let's select all of this change that i need to change the font size of this very one to bold and should I go for about 18 because I don't know how large the questions would be alright let's change all of them the font color let's change that to white for now okay that's fine and get rid of the content in there delete that delete that as well okay now reposition the picture box get rid of this reposition the picture box itself let's just move it so that we can see the edge of this a little bit more okay we can see the edge now so if i run this pro let me run it and see all right this is how the whole program looks like but nothing is happening right now until i enter some codes into it so let's start with the coding now okay first thing first let's program these uh, choices double click on that and um, just say image one dot visible equals force y image two dot visible will be image two dot visible equals true so just change this to two so image two is the one right on top so i'm just going to copy that and repeat exactly the same thing for the for the rest of the choice right there you see this one is image six the one underneath is image that's image five so do that double click on this very one and just change that to five and this to six and the other one is four three so double click that's image four make that visible image three make that invisible so if i run this program now 
let's go to the phone to run it if I run it so when I click oh when I click image one should be visible okay let's go back and change that okay let's go in there double click the image one this one becomes two one visible four three visible six five visible good okay let's try again all right okay that's fine so that's working as we want so now we now need to take care of the others but before then since coding has started i better save this program before i continue so we'll click save project as uh, let me select enable macro you must select enable macro so i'm going to save it as who wants to be a millionaire we'll just make that two save all right so who wants to be a millionaire two is now save and uh, maybe i should even change the form name yeah i can change the form name to millionaire as well so that i know the different the difference between both of them so the other one has no name but this one has a name so that is fine so we know the form look at it right here it is form two okay so the next thing is let's program the command button there's a lot of work to be carried out on the command button itself right here so i'll start by double clicking on the command button so we double click on the command button right there and we say command button one dot caption equals command button one itself right here plus one so which means every time i click on this very command button it increment by one and up here let let's declare a global variable in the option explicit there and uh, i'll just say dim count as integer okay count is integer so let's now go to the form itself that's the form double click on the form and right here we go to this event here let's change the event to initialize count equals zero so only when i click on the command button which i will take care of later on okay so we've initialized count as zero now so when i run this program right here count becomes zero and every time i click let's debug what happened there okay you see this very arrow the command button one itself i should have entered a zero in here select that and come right here you see where i say caption enter zero so which means when i click when I click on it, it will increment by one. Okay, though you cannot see it, but it's working as expected now. That's fine. But if you want to see it, I can just show you that it's working. That okay, I can just copy this and stick it inside one of the labels. So label one dot caption dot caption equals that so just to prove to you that it's working every time i click can you see that click okay that's fine so go back in there get rid of that we don't need that so we then use an if statement if command button one this very command button one right here if it's equals to one then the following let's check out how many images we have that's very important you must know the first image right here that's the first image and that's uh, image 22 and the last image should be image 7 let's confirm that that's image 7 undo all right so we want one is one image 2 22 that visible equals was and we want image one image 21 to be true true okay so 21 true so if i run it now run the program and i click on this what happens is if you guys can see that image 21 shows up when command button is one so let's go back back into our program 
so the rest of the images okay when command button is two else if command button equals to image 20 becomes visible okay let's try that out without any of this without any long code so so that is let's enter our checkpoint there i had a checkpoint here label level one dot caption equals dot caption equals command button one right here so that we just use that to verify that it's working okay run the program again now block if sorry it's got to be else if there make that else if all right that's fine okay now command button is one when it's two okay that means i should hide the rest all right now let's go back into the code 21 should be forced then here yeah, 21 is forced and 22 will force as well force copy paste so now run the program again all right one two you see that guys so it's working as expected all right so that's working as expected now let's get rid of uh, this one we don't need this really so the next one is going to be else if if the command button equals 3 image 19 becomes true image 22 becomes false so i will now speed this up and get back to you guys as soon as uh, that is taken care of okay just before i speed this up there's something i should show you guys when the command button is one i want the first question so these are my very first question and if you notice count itself becomes one right there okay and question two question two i will enter that in there make, maybe make that up or enter something much better let me get some questions in there okay question i've already entered question two right there so the next question will be question three enter question three there let's move this up close this so that you can see the questions paste it right there that's question three there so command button three command button two and you can see the counter also increments because I intend to use it that's why I have the counter there so if I run this very program now click on you see the first question second question and third question but I still I'm yet to program this to respond to whatever choice is made so let's go back into the coding area Oh, I'm just going to speed this up and get back to you guys. Okay, I just finished entering all the codes. Let me show you the codes. There they are. So, take it from the top. When the button is 1, when it's 2, 3. Let's close this. And you can see the questions as well. When it's 4, 5. And take note of the counter as well. 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And when the counter, when the command button is 16, this is what happened. The visibility of the image 22 and the command button becomes zero, counter becomes zero. All of the labels becomes empty. So let's run the program. So if I run it now, that's what you see. Although I cannot select any answer yet, but see that is how it goes. Okay. So the last part of it is just to work out how to select the answers. So go back in there, double click on this very label right there. Okay, I will enter the following lines of codes. So you can or oh, those are my lines of codes from here. Take a good look at it because you're gonna need that.
and that's it that's for the first label so let's go back to the second label second label double click on label B and right there on the second label let's be sure that's the right label double click on it here that's the right one enter the same lines of codes the only difference is you just have to think logically where the answers are so that's for label 2 label 3 sorry take it down those are the lines of codes of course if you if you want the code I can always forward it to you provided you send me your email okay the next thing let's go for the third label right here double click on that this very one double click on it and enter the same set of codes codes are very similar I'll just take it from the bottom and I will scroll up so that you can see it that's it right there that's for label 4 and now let's take care of label 5 you can see this is my label 1 property right there that's label 1 2 3 4 and 5 so I will now double click on label 5 and enter the same set of codes in label 5 okay take it from the label 5 or from the top of label 5 come right down those are the set of codes that is required for label 5 and that's it I think that's about all now for this uh, Melonia game so all we just need to do is uh, test it out and see how it works okay let's try it out guys so run the program there if I click on this command button now I suppose you can hear the sound and if I select the winning answer you hear that so that would be the next thing I'll show to you guys so let's just run it and see so the answer here is the answer I just want to speed it up to 15 so that you guys see how it works and the last what will happen is if I click on this very button again it takes you straight down okay so we can then start all over okay well let me show you how how the music or the sound was embedded and right here I've actually used this method in my piano that's it right there those are the lines of codes for the sound there they are you must declare this function in a model to get your model go to insert and click on model and that will give you model right there okay then sub procedure you must include that as well then I'll forget this that's my lottery for my lottery forget this as well and here is the winning sound oh sorry that's the winning sound right here these other ones are just for lottery we really don't need them so let me get rid of them they are just for lottery oh sorry they are for piano let's get rid of them that's for piano and this is for millennia millennia get rid of these so that I don't confuse you guys these are just the lines of code required for the sound to embed sound into the millennia so let's save that and give it a run again that's fine okay let's go into a millennia right now run it see that it's working as expected so let's try out the bonus points those are the bonus points that work as expected click on the next one Okay guys with that I'll just leave you guys uh, with 
but before I leave there's a way you embed the, uh, the sound double click on that all you do is just call the function right there that's the function right here and if you look in here that is the fun the function I just called let's go back in there that is for the lottery no I don't need that for the lottery okay it's inside the lottery okay that's correct it's called uh, play lottery all right that's it that's the function so we should actually call it play millionaire let's we can change it to play millionaire so let's change it to play millionaire sound file millionaire okay that's the name of the file now so let me copy this so that you don't get confused save it go back in there and double click on that so that become play millionaire sound file all right so if i run it and click on that it's now playing the millionaire sounds file so that's how you call it you just call the name of the function and guys that will be the end of this program it's been a very long tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it anyway. Thank you.